adventure, intrigue, mystery, romance, starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Together in the sultry setting of tropical Havana and the mysterious islands of the Caribbean. Bold Venture. again, the magic names of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall bring you Bold Venture and a tale of mystery and intrigue. How soon will Slate be back, Miss Duvall? I ask only because I hope it's not for hours and hours. Not so close, Frankie. I might fog your glasses. I'll chance it. Ever kiss a boy with tortoise shells? You're probing, Professor. Now, let me think. Yes. Yes, I did once. Exciting? Well, I was five and he was six. He asked me up to his treehouse to admire his collection of steelies and glassies. I'll never forget. I had to hobble home on one roller skate. Why? The kid was a cad. You're cute. Cute as a bug at a rug. Oh, Frankie, next you'll be telling me I'm the bee's knees. You want it subtle, huh? Okay. I'll tell you in words they write in poems. How the curve of your mouth is classic. How your cheek is... Back up, Buster. I'll uncurl your ringlets. Hey, what's up, sailor? Boy trying to sell you a magazine subscription? Slate. Slate Shannon. You remember me? You heard, sailor. She said it real clear. She said back. Hey, hey, wait a minute. You're Greg's brother, Greg Jordan's brother. That's right, Frankie. What are you doing in Havana, kid? How's Greg? <laughs> One at a time, Slate. The big brother's married, four kids, and a mortgage. What I'm doing in Havana is learning what every young fellow should know. I left college to try to learn it. Want to take me around the museums and teach me? Sure, kid. I'll show you a Havana they never dreamed of in the geography books. And uh, we'll take Miss Duvall, too, huh? Please. That way it'll be coeducational. anything? A sea bass. Baby, threw him back. Never have any luck, sir, fishing. Used to get prizes for the amount of seaweed I pulled up. You know, I don't figure you. I really don't. No? Well, tell me why, kid. A big-time gambler like you. A man the police are looking for, and you pick yourself a seaside park and fish. Well, you ought to try it. Restful. For the nerves. You study about nerves at college? Uh-uh. Economics. Mm, that sounds educational. Brief me on economics, kid. Uh, get money from people. That's a brief on every textbook I ever had. <laughs> Good books. Sound. You got the makings, kid. I like the way you operated on the boat. I'll tell you the truth. I never saw a better second-card stud dealer in my life. Where'd you learn? My brother. He did it for the oohs and ahs in the parlor. Mm, that's one way. Did you see your brother's friend, Shannon? Sure. Tonight we're going to have a party. Laughs and tickles and rumbas. Wait a minute. Uh, no, I thought I had a bite. What I was going to say, kid, don't have too good a time. Shannon's got to get us out of Havana. He will. Because if we ever step foot on that liner again, we'll take the rest of the crews and whatever they use for a brig. I said Shannon will get us out. Sure you did. Only I've got something else to tell you. Remember the guy on the boat who always wore double-breasted tweeds? The man who dropped maybe $200 in draw poker in State Room 20? I don't remember his name, but he played a fair hand at draw. Lost his dough and then hung around and watched. That him? Mm-hmm. He's a detective, kid. He's tailing me. I shook him someplace on Malacone Drive. How do you know he's a detective? Because I had to hit him before I shook him. He showed me a card. Told me the vacationers were squawking about a couple of Sharpies. You and me. Told me how much we cheated them out of. Said, please come along. So now you know why it's important. I told you. Shannon's a sucker. He'll get us out of Havana. <laughs> Hey, 
Slade, I'll never forget you for this. The places you've shown me. And this highlight game. I've always wanted to see one. You're making childhood dreams come true. You do my heart good, kid. Enjoying yourself like this. Make me remember how I was the first time I hit Havana. Tell us about it, Slate. Tell us how you came. A barefoot, bright-eyed lad with downy cheeks of tan. Look, you asked me to tell it. Let me tell it. There I was, standing on the pier. A bright-eyed lad with... Look at those guys. The way they handle those sisters. Now look. Look at that catch. As I was saying, there I was, standing on the pier... Havana reaching her arms out to me. Me, a bright-eyed lad with... Wait, Slate. That man over there. The one in the double-breasted tweed suit. The one who's been following us. You'll listen to me, huh, Frankie? He's coming over to us. Wait till he gets here. Then you can tell him, too. Slate. That's the guy I've been telling you about. The one on the boat. He scares me. He... Having a jolly time, Frankie? Like the game? What does he want with me, Slate? You heard the boy, Buster. Answer the boy. Keep your long fingers out of it, mister. That way we won't ever quarrel. Come on, Frankie. Let's walk out here like we're old school champs, huh? Slate! Leave him alone. Leave the kid alone. I told you. Let's not make a scene, huh, pal? Don't make me breathe too hard, Frankie. I'm not... Maybe I can arrange that buster. About the breathe. The long fingers, I told you. Yeah. Count them, mister, all five of them. I'll kill him, Slate. I'll kill him! Give me that bottle, kid. You going crazy? Kill him. Kill him! The bottle, Frankie. Give me that bottle. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Slate. Let's take the kid home, Slate. It's way beyond his nap time. A boy, he study in university. Plenty IQs and educated he. He wink an eye in Miss Salo's direction, say, Hip hooray, you're a yummy confection. Miss Salo, she put Frankie in place. She kick his ankle, sneer in his face. And all the while, Mr. Slate has jollies. Blame it on wild old type follies. That's the way me and my guitar observe it, Mr. Slate. <laughs> well, both of you got good eyes. I still don't understand what you got against Frank, sailor. Did you see the way he broke that bottle? He was going to stab that man. Oh, I doubt it. Kid saw the routine in the movies once. He figures it's a thing to do in Havana. Look, you can't blame him for nuzzling up to you. Let's face it, you're a nuzzable girl. Choosy, too. I select my own nuzzlers. Mr. Slate, may I say a word? Go ahead, King. I have seen many men as I walk through the world. Oh, here we go. Men of high breeding and low. The looks they gave could wither the soul. Men who drew shadows about their shoulders. What don't you like about Frank Jordan? He's a stinker. A big one. Now, look, he's, he's the brother of a friend of mine. That makes him a responsibility. I'm going to take care of Frank Jordan while he's in Havana. What's he in Havana for? Well, what are you in Havana for? Go stick your head in a hose. Slate Shannon speaking. Slate. Slate, come down here right away. Please. Please, you've got to. What's the matter, Frank? Hurry, there's not a lot of time. Why isn't there a lot of time? What's happening? I'm afraid, Slate. Please, at the Hotel Suarez on the Prado. Hurry. Hello? Hello, Frank. Hey, hello. What were you saying, Sailor? Miss Sailor went out, Mr. Slate, with a huff. Oh, she and the huff come back and ask for me. Tell them don't ask. Please make yourself comfort, Miss Duar. In the big wicker chair with the inner tube cushion will be nice. Gee, Inspector, the way you treat a girl. It makes her eyelashes flutter. See? Flutter. Now the left one. Flutter. Mm, I cannot tell you how pleasurable it is you come to me, even without that I arrested you. That's why you gave me the chair with the inner tube, huh? Exactly. <laughs> oh, you are a sly one, Miss Duval. Just call me Slyzy. And now perhaps you will tell me why you have come. To bribe me for something you have committed or are about to commit? Heal, boy, heal. If you have not perpetrated a crime, senorita, please do not waste my time. Adios. It has been charming. Maybe I can dream one up for you. Interested? Panting at the mouth. Who robbed who? Who killed who? Who mayhemed who? I don't know yet, but I have a feeling it's coming. From a kid by the name of Frank Jordan. 
brother of an old pal of Slate's. You suspect this Frank Jordan of dire deeds? Worse than that. I hate him. Hmm, a woman's hate is meaningless, senorita. Till the man she hates does something to her. I see no bruises on you. He got into Havana last night, off the SS Regina. Slate had to work a man over for him. I want you to find out why. I'll flutter again for you. Any time you ask. You have twisted my elbow, senorita. I will look into this Frank Jordan for you. Thanks, LaSalle. I say it from the heart. Thanks. Frank! Is that you, Slate? Yeah, it's me. Talk some more. I gotta be sure. Come on, come on, open up. What's the matter with you? Inside, Slate, quick. Well, I'm glad to see you. Tell me why, huh? I'm gonna level with you, Slate. I thought I was being smart. Now I'm in trouble. Listen to me. You gotta get me out of Havana. Well, I knew you came to Havana. I was leaving tonight. Why not take that? I can't. Don't you see? The trouble happened on the boat. <laughs> A woman? I... I didn't know anything about her. You know, the travel folder said meet new friends, and I met her. Husband? He'll kill me. He said he would. Close your mouth, kid. I'll answer the door. You want some inside, mister? This gun can start scratching your grave. Oh, hello, Frank. Look, look, I was just playing around. I, I didn't know it. Against the wall, Frank. Face it. Now you, mister. I don't know who you are or what you want. But why don't we just sit down, prop our legs up, you know, talk. What's with the gun? Against the wall. Turn around, both of you. The guy your guest, Frankie? Leave him out of this. All right. You can go now, mister. <sighs> when things get tough, we can do this to packed houses, Frankie. <laughs> A boy never stops learning, Jack. And you know what? What? I was starting to worry. I was thinking Shannon wasn't believing me. Now he does. He'll take good care of me. I'll be real grateful. Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, and the second act of our story. I tell you, senor, you must get up this instant. Get up from the floor and take out of here, you. Uh. Come, senor, I will show you what I do in such instances. Do you understand what I am telling you? Up! Uh, uh, hey, cut it out, will you? Oh, very good. You have responded well. Uh, who? Uh, what happened? Who are you? Jimenez. Who else would I be? Okay, okay. Hey, where's Frank Jordan? He who rented this room? Out. There was another man here with him. Grande, ooh, big, a big man they left together. Together, huh? Probably with their arms around each other. Oh, it's not so. The big man pushed Senor Jordan in front of him with hand in pocket as if he had a gun. Now, Senor, who are you? Just a bad dream, Jimenez. Something that never should have happened. Oh, si, Senor. And you look it. Look what your friendship for Frankie got you, Slate. Lumps on the cranium. One lump. Let's not get carried away with this thing. I got a big rise out of that soft skull of yours. Could have killed you. Look, sailor, just for a little while, let me enjoy the breezes from the sea, the whispering of the coconut palms, the splendor of the setting sun. Translation. Stop flapping your gums. I'll always remember you this way, Slate. 
with your brain in a sling. What eat you, sailor? I told you the kid's in trouble. He's... What does that make you, Mother Shannon? Put it all together and it spells sucker. Guy clobbering me on the back of the head, taking Frankie for a gun ride who knows where. What's all that, a senior prom? Senorita Duval, Senor Shannon. Ask me later, Slade. Right now, a policeman is mushing his way through the sand to me. Here we are, La Sally, old pally. I see you. You are very clear in the twilight. Hello. And a hello to you, LaSalle. <laughs> hey, kid, you ought to try the local Y. They've got just the thing for breathless boys like you. Thank you. I will consider it. But the reason for my breathless, amigo, friend mine, is that a man lies murdered. And you couldn't wait to spread the news, huh, LaSalle? I'm a fool to ask this, but anyone we know? I think. A man in a double-breasted tweed suit. A man with whom you have had what is called a disturbance of the peace in my set. Witnesses told us of this. You were right, Slate. You were a fool to ask. Take the jackpot. Now look, Inspector Mine, that was just a friendly little round of fisticuffs. You know, the manly art. Comes a time in every fellow's oh, life. Oh, it is not you of whom we have suspicion this time, Shannon. But of a buddy pal, Frank Jordan. This is the name, the anonymous man. The unidentified man of the tweed suit whispered before he died. Frank Jordan. You see, Slate, I told Please, you... Please, Miss Duval... Let us go to my business and talk of Shannon's friend, of Frank Jordan. Huh? My arm? Wouldn't go without it. See what happens when fellows agree with me, Slate? They give me their right arm. Cut it out, King. Why is it all of a sudden my music does not agree with you, Mr. Slate? I'm trying to think. About Frank Jordan? What happened to him? Why did a gunsel beat me around the head and not Frank? Where did he take Frank? And why did he take him? A man who beats a man about the head with a gun may also reverse the gun, Mr. Shannon. It takes less energy to pull a trigger. Perhaps this is what was done to... No, it wasn't. Hiya, Frank. I got away from him. He was going to kill me, but I tricked him. You did, huh? How? While he wasn't looking, I hit him. I hit him hard. Knocked him out. Huh. You know what I think, kid? I think you don't have the strength to hit a man and tilt his head. I hit him with an andiron. Now you come back to me because you want to get out of Havana. That's why I brought my bag. Don't tell me you're going to change your mind. Look, I can't get on that liner. Tonight, when it's dark, I'll run you over to Key West. Come on, Frank, let's hide you away from all that trouble. <laughs> Do I get to sit on the inner tube again, LaSalle? It is comforting, is it not, senorita? But I think you will not care to. I think what I have to tell you of this Jordan will make you stand on end. That bad, huh? This matter of Frank Jordan. He had an admirable record in his college until he played cookie. Hooky. Your pardon. During his sabbatical of this hooky, he was seen to consort with a notorious gamblers. The police of many states saw him so consorting... It made them to rub their chins and say, Hmm. They said that, huh? Just like that. Hmm. And when they found him always in the shadow of an infamous ship's gambler, a Jack Cronin, a cheat, a known criminal, they said, Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And that makes Frankie, boy. A man we want for murder. Tell Shannon that, Senorita Duval. Tell Shannon if he does not give us this murder suspect... We will hold Shannon for accessory. It'll break his heart, so I'll tell him. And that's what the man said, Slate. The man told me Frank was wanted for murder. Well, LaSalle might be telling the truth at that. What do you mean, might be? He's police inspector of Havana. Why should he lie? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Don't you get it, Slate? He's playing you for a patsy. Something happened on that cruise liner so that Frank can't go back to it. He said it was something about a woman. Maybe. LaSalle said Frank was mixed up with a professional gambler named Jack Cronin. You're going to turn Frank over to LaSalle, aren't you? No. This is really one of your dull days, Slate. Why aren't you going to turn him in? Because I'm not sure. Try to understand my side of it, sailor. Frank is just a kid. His brother and I went through a lot together. 
I owe his brother at least this much to give Frank a chance. Next week, East Lynn. Well, that's your trouble, sailor. Someone gets a little sentimental. A guy embarrasses himself in front of you just so he can be honest, and you... I'm sorry. I said I was sorry, Slate. I've got Frank down at that old shack of Mario's. The boat, too. If anybody drops in and asks for me, tell him I'll be there. And I'm just supposed to sit around like an information desk, huh? And if anybody asks, I'm leaving for Key West in just one hour. Open up, Frank. It's me, Slate Shannon. Oh, I was worried you weren't coming. How do you feel, Frank? Anxious. When are we getting out of here? When it gets real dark, there's not much moon tonight. We'll make it a Key West easy. What have you been doing with yourself all this time? Cards and playing solitaire. You play poker? Not much. You want to play? Just you and me? Two-handed? Showdown. Just to pass the time away. What do we play for? Match sticks, marks, and a piece of paper, that's all. Sure, I'd like it. All right, let's sit down. Is your suitcase on the chair? Give it to me. Uh, I'm sorry. Just as you hear, I'll take it. Sure. Here, let's sit. Here, use these cards. I picked them up at my hotel. What's the matter with these cards I've been using? Nothing. Same design, same cards. Let's just use my cards, huh? Sure. I'll get these out of the way here. All right. Want to cut for deal? Yeah. Six of clubs. Ace, my deal. Deal away. Queen for you. Nine for me. Ten for you. Ace for me. Four for you. Six for you. And, uh, well, little old nine for me. Filled it inside straight. Well, that about does it, Frank. I'm clean out of matchsticks. I'll lend you some. <laughs> oh, no. I've had enough. You're a lucky boy for a kid who doesn't know much about... Well, come on in, people. Hiya, Frank. What is this, Slate? Isn't someone going to say hello to me? I told you to give directions, sailor, not to come here. When this fellow here asked me where you were, I leaned over the desk and said, Are you Jack Cronin? For an answer, he winked, grinned, and showed me a gun. You weren't going to leave without me, were you, Frank? This is the guy who slugged you, Slate. Yeah, I know. He's the guy that's been after me. One that wants to get me. Tell me something, Cronin. How did a kid like Frankie here get away from a big man like you? Yeah. I'll tell you about it, Shannon. It was... Uh, double crosser. Double... How do you like your boy now, Slate? A killer. Oh, it was self-defense, sailor. Cronin was after the kid. You saw it. Slate, have you gone completely crazy? Come on, Frank. Let's go to Key West. Sure we will. And you know why? Sure I know why. The dough you've got in that suitcase. That's the money you and Cronin took off the customers on that luxury liner. Cheated them out of it. I'm holding the gun. I'm confessing. You're a bright kid, Frankie. That dead man in the tweed suit, you killed him too? I didn't mind. He was a company cop. And what's a company cop to a bloody boy like you? Thanks, Dal. I want to tell you something, Frank. I wasn't really sure about you. You want to know when I found out? I know. When you pull that crummy trick of handing me a deck of cards without aces. But aces suddenly turned up, didn't they, Slate? And nine times out of ten in my hand. Sure. The ones you palmed from the solitaire deck you were playing with. You had to cheat even though you were playing for matchsticks. It's dark enough now, Slate. Take me to Key West. Yeah, I'll take you. Kill the light, sailor. I'll find you in the dark, Slate. You found me? Okay, sailor. You can turn on the lights. You convinced now? Yeah. I'm not sending my boy to college. Their jaws break too easy. <laughs> Sailor. What do you want? Here, take a card. Oh, no. You're going to show me that corny card trick again? Oh, go ahead. Take one. Anyone at all. 
All right. Four of clubs. No, no, don't tell me what it is. Just look at it and remember it. Take another one. That's right. Now put it back in the deck. That's right. Now, I'll shuffle them. Now watch this. I can hardly wait. Now this will astound you. Slate. Huh? I forgot what my card was. Ah, what is it with you? A guy learns a few card tricks, he likes to show them off. I know a trick. See? Nothing up my sleeves, no strings, no rubber bands. Hands behind my back. So? So close your eyes. Astound you? That's a trick. Last girl who did that held her hands behind my back. Come here. That's the way the trick goes. And so our two stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, have brought to a close our latest Bold Venture story. Special music was composed and conducted by David Rose. May we invite you to listen again next week at this time for another exciting adventure starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall together in Bold Venture.